Hello everyone. Everyone loves cats. And if you don't, well, that's just like your opinion, man. One character who would wholeheartedly agree that cats are amazing is our favorite Lich Kelfuzad, who is well known for his love of his fluffy feline companion, Mr. Bigglesworth. And when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! Mr. Bigglesworth is a standard house cat belonging to the crazed Lich. He is said to be the last living creature in Noxramus, according to Captain Elagor Dawnbringer. But if you're lucky enough to adopt this fluffy menace into your battle pet collection, you'll see that he's classified as an undead. And there are other living things in Noxramus, including the maggots and the roaches that Biggles hunts throughout the raid. Another thing Elagor tells us is that Mr. Bigglesworth, who is a reference to the pet cat of Dr. Evil in Austin Powers. Look what you did to Mr. Bigglesworth! <laughs> That Mr. Bigglesworth is the last threat connecting Kelfuza to his mortal life, and that any who were to harm so much as a hair on the kitty's head would doom themselves forever. Not that we have to worry. Nobody is silly enough to harm Kelfuza's most precious companion. Right? Right? Yeah. In perhaps a very telling moral decision, Mr. Bigglesworth is killable in the next Rama's raid, and you can very well decide to murder the kitty in cold hearted blood. Doing so will not only make everyone you know question your morals and humanity, but it will also infuriate Kalfuzad, who will yell out, Now! A curse of time endures! The arms of the Lich King will hunt you down! You will not escape your fate! You did murder his cat, after all. Despite this heartbroken proclamation by the now grieving Lich, killing Mr. Bigglesworth doesn't actually affect the encounter in any noticeable way, so the choice of ending his wonderful life of hunting critters and hanging out with his owner, that is completely your choice. We'll just be standing over in the corner, judging you hard for it, you heartless, heartless fiend. Never one to let death stop his fun, Kelfuzad was reunited with his beloved pet within Heroes of the Storm. Originally, the little ball of fluff was going to act as a sort of wisp for the Lich, who would hide out and grant the team visibility. If Mr. Bigglesworth was attacked, he would then run away to safety, and Kelfuzad would yell at the attackers and gain a huge damage buff for a short duration. That honestly sounds quite amazing, but the idea was scrapped, as Kelfuzad players they would have enough combos to watch, without having to move a little kitty companion around the field as well. Mr. Bigglesworth does make a slight appearance, however. If you poke his loving owner for long enough, one of his quotes is the sound of a meow, with Kelfuzad then saying, Oh no, don't you worry, Mr. Bigglesworth. I won't let anyone harm you this time. It isn't just here at the storm where we can find Mr. Bigglesworth. Pretty much anywhere you can find this Lich Master, we will also find a cat, and Hearthstone is no exception. In the Kelfuzad encounter from Curse of Naxxramas, if a hunter uses the animal companion cards, the animal summons will be Mr. Bigglesworth with one health and one attack. If Call of the Wild is cast, then all of the usual beasts that are summoned along with Mr. Bigglesworth, making it possible to have two of him on the board at once. Kelfuzad isn't as heartless as we may think, however. Metaphorically, of course, because being a lich, he is very much heartless, and he doesn't seem capable of harming his faithful feline. Even giving Bigglesworth taunt won't do anything, and both Kelfuzad and his minions will ignore him for the rest of the game. If you do kill his beloved cats, you will hear that all familiar cry. A curse upon you, interloper! Leaving you with the knowledge that not even a psychotic lich minion would harm the poor, innocent little kitty like you just did. Victory for Kelfuzad! Did you hear that, Bigglesworth? Despite his minor setback, Mr. Bigglesworth is as persistent as his master is. And in the trailer for the new Hearthstone expansion, Skolomance Academy, we see Kalfuzad cradling his beloved kitty in his arms, just where he belongs. And I, for one, welcome our new kitty overlords. In a recent development, it seems Kalfuzad may have infiltrated Hearthstone HQ and convinced the developers, in his slightly psychotic ways, that Biggles is far too important to be relegated to a simple, summonable creature and we can expect to see a lot more of the fluffy feline. 
In a patch article, it was announced that Mr. Bigglesworth is going to be a new Battlegrounds playable hero, looking ever so devious in his new hero arts. Mr. Bigglesworth comes with a unique hero ability named Kelfuzad's Kitty. Just so that you're aware, you're only entertained the Kitty during the Battlegrounds, and your brief friendship cannot pry him away from his loving lich. The ability is as interesting as the kitty himself, and it means whenever the player dies in the battlegrounds, you will discover a minion from their warband, and it keeps any enchantments. This also means that if you get a golden card from a defeated player, you will then get the discover effect, so it can ramp up quite fast. Some expected Mr. Bigglesworth to be quite underpowered, but it turns out that if you can keep him up until the mid game, it becomes actually a very powerful hero. Players with a battleground pass can access him now. But otherwise, you're gonna have to wait until August 13th and you can try it out for yourself. So, with that in mind, why not dive into International Cat Day by revisiting Kelfuzad and his favorite feline in Warcraft, Heroes of the Storm and now also in Hearthstone, because he's a pretty fabulous feline. <coughs> And you're fabulous as well. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. By all means, let us know in the comments down below which card you'd like us to cover next. You could also subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, you know the things. And until next time, see ya!